In their book, Team, Getting Things Done with Others, David Allen and Edward Lamont demonstrate how meetings can quickly become unproductive and slow down a group's work. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. In my conversation with the authors, we discussed how you can get teams to change their behavior. I mean, it, it's it's challenging. I think you you if you were going to go into the principles of the book, that would form probably part of of some process of building a mission, vision, um, and starting to articulate. Well, what do we want here? Um, analysis of you know, what is making you extremely frustrated on this team? So it's a combination. I always think in any developmental process, it's a combination of increasing the pain of what's not working by by increasing awareness, right? Because you can go for a long time, as David says, doing the wrong things, thinking that's just the way that it needs to be. And then increasing the pain again by creating some vision of what we think is possible. And if you're stuck in the middle there, that's not comfortable anymore. So people are going to want to start to move. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it was a very, very surprising to me when I started my, my journey as a, a baby consultant back in the day that um, I couldn't just walk in and make things better, right? Um, we we had kind of have to walk in, make things worse, uh, at least to increase the perception of how bad things are in order for anybody to want to do anything differently. When you when you asked earlier about the kind of the main obstacles, I think there's there's two that are are quite meta. Uh, David's just articulated one, which is you know, it, this is just the way it is, and it can't get any better. Just like you know, someone who's become uh, very out of shape, that like this is just the way I am, right? But that's not to say that they can't get into shape. That's that's all all to play for. The other thing that I think is is a real obstacle to to change in 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 a team um, is respect, and it's you know meetings are a really great example, right? Because the only way that you can allow your meetings to be bad time after time after time is if you have a lack of respect for your own time, and you have a lack of respect for everybody else in the room time, right? If that changes and you get a heightened awareness of the cost of your time and what it means to waste it, then you will stop almost, you know, naturally stop. You will start to bang your fist a little bit, to, not in a bad way, but in a good way to demand a higher standard from the people that you're interacting with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, 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 and I know of some cultures where, meetings become the only way anything can get done. I mean, uh, and, and inappropriate meetings. I mean, uh, somebody will call a meeting and there's no agenda or, uh, or, you know, a lot of what is being accomplished in that meeting could have been done in an email. Um, and, and so I think that that kind of push and pull also enters into it, doesn't it? For sure. For sure. If it, I mean, I've, I've worked done some work with the, the government here. The departments will remain nameless, but um, it, it literally was the only way that they could get things done because people weren't paying attention to their email. Mm. Um, so they would have to call meetings with 15 or 20 people in order to make decisions. And, you know, most of those people didn't really need to be in the meeting, but they didn't want to miss the meeting. And the people who were calling the meeting didn't want to make anybody angry by not inviting them. Um, it, it was, and this was hour after hour, which of course leads back into being unable to handle your email because you're always in a meeting. I mean, it, it was, yeah. Edward Lamont, along with David Allen, are the authors of Team, Getting Things Done with Others, a book that does for groups what GTD did for individual productivity. Subscribe to the series so you won't miss any of our conversations.